The aim of this lecture is to show you two of the main trends in automotive industry, which are the electrified and connected vehicles. At the end of this lecture, you will be able to describe the main aspects of innovation process involving the electrification of vehicles and some examples of the connectivity between the vehicles and the surrounding environment. According to several studies all around the world, the main trends for future of mobility are autonomous, shared, connected and electrified vehicles. In this lecture, we will talk about the last two topics, electric and connected vehicles. Let's start with vehicle electrification. The increasing need in zero emission vehicles naturally evolved in vehicle electrification. These vehicles can in fact have zero local emissions while the recharge is made from energy produced outside the cities. Moreover, this energy can be produced from green, renewable energy, sun or wind. The number of electric vehicles sold in the last years is abruptly increasing. China market is the best example, where we have an incredible positive trend. This increase in vehicles sold raised also the interest in founding the study of electric technology and its production. This leads to a massive reduction of the production costs as it can be noticed from this graph. It shows the price of the most expensive component in an electric car, the battery pack. The cost of battery decreased with the same trend in opposite direction of the selling trend. We can have different level of electrification depending also on the type of vehicles involved. Light vehicles, passenger cars, heavy vehicles and smart grid. The first level is the one of light vehicles. Again, China is the best example. Many light vehicles have been transformed from internal combustion engine ICE vehicles into full electric vehicles. Today, in Beijing city, all the light vehicles are electric, even if they are old and ugly. The second level of electrification is of passenger cars, where the electrification assumes different shapes. Several powertrain solutions arise with different complexity and level of electrification. Compared to the layout of ICE vehicles, some parts are added and some removed. In mild hybrids, a bigger version of the starter motor helps the ICE in reducing the consumptions. It recovers energy in braking and helps accelerating the car from stops. In parallel hybrid, a big electric motor EM is in series with the ICE. It assists the ICE and in some cases it works alone, where the ICE has very low efficiency. In series hybrid, the EM drives the car while the ICE only charges the batteries. This is also known as a range extender. Finally, the full electric car where the ICE completely disappears. The third level of electrification is the one of heavy vehicles, where we have the most disruptive examples. In fact, we have pantograph in highways for powering heavy trucks. This system cancels the problem of range autonomy for electric trucks, that nowadays is the most challenging issue to be solved. Another system is represented by fast charge at bus station for public transportation. This reduces the mass of the battery that, in this way, has to provide the vehicle a short range autonomy, necessary to travel from one stop to another. The battery is then fast charged while passengers get off and on the bus. But the electrification does not stop with the vehicles. The electric energy can be shared among different users to optimize the overall system efficiency. The last level of electrification is the one of smart grids, which are nets of energy users. The energy stored in the battery of a parked car can be used to satisfy highway power requests from another user. Then the battery is recharged in moments in which the total power request of the grid is smaller, 
usually during the night. The second big trend in automotive we talk about uh, is on connected vehicles. A connected vehicle can share information about its status or the status of the road on which it is traveling. When we talk about connected vehicle, we talk about V2X, which means vehicle to something. This something can be infrastructure, V2I, another vehicle, V2V, a cloud, V2C, pedestrian, V2P, or anything else, V2X. The information can be about traffic conditions, the weather, the road conditions in terms of wear or ice presence, the vehicle position and plan trajectory, etc. The main speaker with connected vehicles becomes then the infrastructure. Info essential for traffic regulation can be sent to the car. Here we have a very simple example of a smart infrastructure in which a speed prescription sign is changed in real time. We have also weird examples like the robocopying in Shaza, Congo. But we can go more complex. A car connected to the infrastructure receives info about the speed limits in real time to show it to the driver or to adapt itself to the given prescription. Or consider that the vehicle receives the info about the traffic light while approaching the intersection. This can increase the safety, increase the comfort of passengers and minimize the fuel consumption. Concluding, in this lesson, you had an overview of two of the main trends in automotive industry, electrification and connection. For the first topic, you saw examples of electric vehicles and their architecture and the possible infrastructure modification to better exploit the electric vehicle advantages. For the second topic, you have seen some systems and information that can be shared among all the road users. In particular, some examples of smart roads infrastructure have been given.